Okay, so what we're looking at here is how we can find the slope of the function y equals x squared at x equals 2 algebraically. Okay, so we're working out the instantaneous rate of change of the function when x is equal to 2. So I've got here the point x when x is 2, and if we were to zoom in on this point event and keep zooming in, eventually what we'll see is it's approximately a straight line. Okay, even though the function is a curve, the more we zoom in, the more straight it will appear. Okay, you can think of it like the surface of the Earth. The Earth is round, but because we're, we're infinitely small compared to the surface of the Earth, it appears to be flat, it appears to be straight. So we can keep zooming in and the curve at some point will appear straight. Okay, so we have the point here when x is 2, y is going to be 4. And you work that out just by putting x equals 2 into the function y equals x squared. Now point M is going to be a point that we are going to make up, okay? And it's going to be the same x coordinate plus a number h, okay? And we're going to say this h is basically a really small number. It's approaching 0. It's like 0 0.0000001, okay? It's a, it's a really small number. So it's 2 plus a very small number, okay? And the y coordinate, of course, is going to be y is equal to x squared. So if this is our x coordinate, 2 plus h, then our y coordinate is going to be 2 plus h squared. Okay? And that's our point M. Now here on a straight line, you can work out the slope of a straight line, okay, with two points by doing y2 take y1 on x2 take x1, which is exactly what we're going to do. So we have 2 plus h squared, okay, that's our y, y2 here, I'll label these up here, y2, y1, x2, x1. So we've got 2 plus h squared, take away 4, divided by 2 plus h, take 2. Okay, so let's perform some algebra here. We're going to expand this using the perfect square rule. Now the perfect square rule, just as a quick refresher, says if you have a plus b and squared, it's going to be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, so what does this mean for 2 plus h squared? It means it's going to be 4 plus 4h plus h squared. Take away 4. And that is divided by, now 2 and take 2 can cancel, so we just have h on the bottom. And up here as well we can have the 4 and the minus 4 cancel. So what we have is 4h plus h squared divided by h. Now we can cancel a common factor here as well, okay? What's common to both of these factors here? And of course it's h, so we're going to pull h out the front for the top, for the numerator. So we're going to have 4 plus h in there. Okay, if you were to expand this out, you would get what we have up here. Okay, and of course we can pull h out from the bottom as well. Alright, h times 1 is just h. Okay, now because we have the same factor at the top and bottom, that can cancel. So the answer that we get is 4 plus h. But of course, as h approaches 0, okay, h is pretty much 0, so the answer is going to be 4. So for the function y equals x squared, the slope of the function at x equals 2 is going to be 4. Okay, let's do another one. Let's talk about the function um, y equals x squared plus 3x. Now it's only going to be ever so slightly different, okay, uh, and let's say at uh, x equals 1. So we're trying to find the slope of this function at x equals 1. Now we don't need to draw a graph for it, alright, but what I'm going to do is just say, imagine this is part of the graph, and we have the point when x is 1, now what's y going to be equal to when x is 1? Well we just put it into this equation here. We have 1 squared, which is just 1, plus 3 times 1. 3 times 1 is 3, so we have when x is 1, y is 4. Okay, and again we have the point x plus h, alright, which is going to be 1 plus h. 
And for the y coordinate though, this is where it gets tricky. Remember when x is one plus h, we're putting one plus, plus h into this equation everywhere there's an x. So here, as well as here. Okay, this means that our y coordinate is going to be one plus h squared plus three times one plus h. Okay, so we have our y2, our x2, our y1, and our x1. All right, we're doing the exact same thing again. Remember the slope between these two points is just gonna be y2 take y1 on x2 take x1. And this is all as x, uh, sorry, as h approaches zero. Okay, so h is a really small number. So let's start here. We have the slope is going to be equal to 1 plus h squared plus 3 times 1 plus h take away 4 and that's divided by 2 times, uh, sorry, divided by 1 plus h take 1. Okay, so let's simplify this a bit. We can get rid of that. We're going to expand this bracket out. Uh, and we'll expand this one as well using the perfect square rule again. Okay, so I might come down here. So what we have is 1 plus 2h plus h squared. Okay, that's from expanding this first bracket here. And then we're going to have plus 3 plus 3h and take away 4. And all that is divided by h. Okay, so let's simplify this a little bit. We have 1 plus 3 is 4, and 4 take 4 can cancel. So what we have then is 2h plus 3h is going to be 5h plus h squared divided by h. Okay, again our common factor is h for both the numerator and the denominator. So we'll pull that out the front. Okay, and we can cancel the h out, because it's at the top and the bottom. And so the answer that we have is 5 plus h. But as h approaches 0, okay, ash approaches 0, as h approaches 0, the slope is equal to 5. So for the function y equals x squared plus 3x, the slope at x equals 1 is 5. Okay, so this is an important skill that we need to know how to do. In the next video, we're going to look at how to do it without a set point.